YouTube, what's up? It's the first millennial. It's early in the morning, first thing. It's been a while since we did a video. Steve's still sh saving that orphan group. We're going to go over here and talk to Dutch. While we're doing that, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you. Tell your friends. Let's see what's going on here. Let's go talk to Dutch. How you doing, old friend? It's funny, us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Let's move it on, Dutch. Got things to do. We walk so slow in this game. Oh, girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, old Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and... That's your horse. Where's my horse? Come on. Hosea, let's go fish. Come on then. Okay, fella. Behind you. Okay, go. Why don't Can't we do anything in this game here. Whole lake of them because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Always oh, something happens. Back there. Oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich... Simple tins there must be down here. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so I gotta be good in roads. You, Hosea, you'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa, what the hell? Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. Well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite 
some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy Archibald McGregor. Archibald hey, McGregor. Good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we Let's can do discuss it. the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do take not the steers. Them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. <coughs> Faster, da, 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 da. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my bad. So what are these fellers wanted for? Mm, looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. I said we need them alive. Go back to top. I told you, no shooting. Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave them. Stay with that train. No, I need them alive. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Don't shoot them. See if you can get alongside the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. Put that thing away. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? What are you doing? Jump on the train. Jump on the train. Square. The low down nice. You cop bastards. I didn't do nothing. Fight. Break free. Square. First millennial, first millennial. Right. Ain't nowhere to run. I got him. It's just us then, law man. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. What are we doing? At least. Are you sure? Boom, 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 boom. Oh. God darn. Freaking cut me good. You knock him out. How many pops are you going to take here, man? <coughs> yeah, everything's all right, man. Take care of it. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Just about. Dun, 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 dun. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There 
you go. You are a natural. Yeah, a natural, all right. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, we just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Uh, indeed. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Hey. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rooms. <coughs> Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town's trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, falling out, rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard. About bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is. But I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, 
You start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with <coughs> our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find okay. about these great I don't know if I can remember All where right. that was, but whatever. Thank you, I'm sure it's on the map. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? I'm going to decline fishing. Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. Got knifed. Like you know, I got a fight. Okay, so we completed the mission the New South. That's the end of it for this episode. Appreciate you very much for tuning in, everyone. Please, again, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, this is the first one. You'll say, and I hope you have a great day.